What's up guys and welcome back to this week's video. This week we're going to take you along into a little family outing on the ice for some lake trout and we did a little bit of jigging, a little bit of dead stick and a little bit of uh, dead bait stuff. So check it out. There's some good laughs, some good stuff and a little bit of information for you guys. Another one looking at the Cisco. Come on. Where is the jigging at? Come on. Staring right at it. Come on. And then, yeah, we're flying to Fort Myers and fishing Saturday, Sunday, Monday. There, he just ate it. Reed! Reed, buddy! Oh, there's two of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's going, eh? Yeah, catch him, Reed. Come over here. Come over here. Come on, Auntie. Okay. Hold your rod. Fine, man. You're going to close the bell. I know. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Hold it, and we're going to set the hook. Oh, got we got him. Here, real. Here. Real, real, real. Yep, real. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, no! He's still on there. <laughs> Is he big? Hey. Yeah? Oh, these rods are so like light. Another fiberglass. Whoa, there he goes. So get back here. Oh, now I'm gonna tighten the drag a little. <laughs> That's a good one. It might be a good one. All right, there's the leader. Just lift. Yeah. Just got to lift now. Oh, yeah. Nice stroke. There he is. There's the hooks. We got him, buddy. Yeah. Woo. Wow. Good job. Going to hold him? Is that one of your first trouts? Say yes, it is. Is that your first trout, Reed? First solo trout. Do you like trout fishing? Here, hold them. Look at Grandma. Look at Grandma and say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on. He's too busy looking at the massive school bait. And now he's going back to like the Cisco. There's two of them looking at the Cisco now. That was sweet. You guys can see the massive ball of bait that's down there. You have one? I got one, buddy. Oh, I think it's a good one. Whoa, Whoa he's taking a lot of line. <laughs> I think it's a good one, buddy. I think it's a hatchy one. Yeah, I think it's a heavy one. This is 
No, oh, he's not happy at all. No. He's got a hook in his face. Yeah. Come on. There he is. Oh, oh he is. real big, eh? He's as big as I thought. Watch out. It's in his Got face. Him. It's in his face. <laughs> yeah. There's another one. Headshot. Just He's the front not hook. Happy. He's not happy. No. Just the front hook. It's cranky. He's a cranky <laughs> fish. Yeah. He's not having a good day. No. Right. Mine was happy. Yeah. How many did you eat for supper? Two. We got two. Yours was happy? Yeah. Okay. Yours was way bigger. Yeah. Yeah, yours was a lot bigger, Reed. And he was happy. Another one on the jig and wrap, front hook. This little guy. There's three of them. Oh, really? Oh, big wow. school date. Oh, Whoa. man. Whoa. See ya, buddy. Hey, yeah. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. I've talked about this in other videos, guys, but when you check your drag, I like to do it after every fish catch. Make sure all the ice is clean. You don't want any ice on your guides, your rollers, or your spool. When you check your drag, you always want to check it from your end of your rod on your line. You want to grab your line right here, pull down at a 90 degree angle, because you want to put into account uh, the power and the action of your rod, because your drag will feel a lot more loose here at your reel. It'll feel a lot stronger and stiffer out here off the end of your rod. So you don't want to set it here and then set the hook, and then you've got way too much drag and the fish can't get anything, and then you might pull the hooks out of them or anything like that. So you always want to check it from the end of your rod. And then the ice, like I, like I talk about too, is one thing you always want to check is your roller. This little brass piece right there is a little bit of ice buildup. You can just blow on that. Make sure that's nice and clean. You want to make sure there's no ice on um, your this kind of shroud that goes around your spool. No ice there because if you need to let out line, if you open that up and there's ice on it, your line can catch on that and then you're your line will kind of catch up and then you want to make sure there's no ice on your spool arbor of your reel as well and that's kind of why i like a little bit bigger spool in itself this is a daiwa kage mq 4000 so a really large spool um, and i like that just because the line comes off a lot easier and then you've got more freedom but you want to make sure there's no ice around that as well i'm fishing 10 pound uh, suffix 132 gore g braid or g core braid i should say and then uh, a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader and you always want to make sure too that keep pulling your your drag make sure you don't have any ice or water that gets on your spool itself and makes that sticky so i always try and strip some of that off clean as much water off as you can because you're dealing with temperatures below freezing this morning we're at like 15 degrees or something like that fahrenheit so we're gonna see if we can stick in our trout here drag's checked ice is clear we're ready for battle one flying up to the Cisco. Flying to it. How did he not bite the Cisco? You're not gonna bite the Cisco, come bite the jigging wrap. That was crazy. Just staring at it. Reed! We got a fish! Oh we got a fish over there. <laughs> I was watching him. He's just sitting there. He hasn't taken any line yet. Oh, there he goes. There he goes, Reed. You wanna go get him? Should we go catch the fish? He's over there, he's on your rod. hands are probably cold. Oh, your hands are cold? He's got grandma's heat packs in there. Oh. So we saw this one on the graph and he came flying. I thought he was going to come check out my jigging wrap, but he's he on our He's on our line. Whose going... line? Whose rod is this? Mine! Yours? <laughs> it's not Uncle Doug's? No? Okay. It's not Auntie's. It's 
It's not Auntie's. No. no. Oh man. It's not them. It's whose? Reed's? It's not yours and not Grandma's and not. <laughs> Jason's? No. <laughs> So Jason hasn't got one yet. No, neither has Auntie. Auntie should have reeled this one in. Oh, oh. oh. he's fighting. Oh. Here he comes. Here he comes. Can you see him down the hole? Yeah. See it. And you see that it's green stuff. Oh, it's a nice one, Reed. Yeah. Whoa, big one! Big, huge one! Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at this one, buddy! Look at her trout! Okay, come over here! <laughs> here, take. Come over here, Grandma! Look this way and take a picture. Look at Auntie! Look at Grandma. Auntie! Grandma! She's coming! Okay, look at me! Look at Auntie! Look, look at me! Look at Auntie! No. Look at me! Good job, bud. Say, see you later, Trout. I'm gonna let him go. You gonna let him go? There he goes. Pretty. Big old trout. Whoa! Water. Water. High five. High five. Yeah, man. Are you the? Who's the best fisherman here? <laughs> All right, so our dead stick set up. Pretty basic, just a 4,000 Daiwa Fuego, and then this is just a 13 rod. I got this from Thorn. It's not super expensive, like a $40 rod, but it's made out of graph or glass, I should say, fiberglass. So it can bend all the way over. It can take a ton of strain, and you don't need a super sensitive rod for a dead stick because you don't need to feel the bite. The flag just trips. You know you got a fish on. But it's really nice again for fighting the fish. It's got a lot of that more moderate action to it. There's a ton of play there, so you can get through all the head shakes and whatnot. But we're fishing that on the iFish Pro system. And then we're just fishing it with a big Cisco. Not a, I shouldn't say big Cisco, just a small four inch Cisco or so. And then a number six or number four round bed, and VM, round bed and VMC. Pop the air bladder, just have a bunch of holes so it'll actually sink. And I place the treble just behind the head, punch it through. It sits pretty horizontal that way, but generally they bite them head first and then your hook's in the right position. You can, if with bigger Cisco's, you can run two hooks. They just seem to get it a little bit deeper that way, and I'd rather not hurt them. Before you come back. Lay down a couple lights so you can just crap right on that. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to be really nice. Ooh, there's one that just went flying up to the Cisco. Come on. Come look at my jigging wrap. There he goes. He's going to see it going down. Here it comes. Right through the bait. Come on. Look at the bait just scattered. There he is. Oh, there he's going. Going back down. Come on. Bait just scattered. It's so cool. <laughs> There's a Cisco. So it's hilarious. I was just jigging in that bait and I just hooked that Cisco. I'm gonna drop down there because he's still there.
Oh, that's so cool. They look just how you think. It's like the frozen ones. I don't know. Oh, I, I always thought they, you had to have it. Here's one. Got him. Got him. <laughs> that's a little guy. He was like five feet under the ice. Flyers for me? Thanks, buddy. That's a good hook. Big hook. Yeah. Whoa. Hybrid trouble. Just a little guy. He was like 10 feet under the ice. Oh, really? Cool. I, re I reeled up and then he smacked it. See you, buddy. <laughs>